In this video, we'll provide a brief introduction to the Data Studio tools and features available on the Ruckus One network management platform. When you're managing a wireless network, you need to be able to quickly access and monitor metrics on the number and types of network components, total number of users and user experience, types of devices, application usage, and so on. These data are essential for administrators, data analysts, and decision makers to understand their data, gain deeper insights, and make better data-driven decisions. This is especially useful in network optimization planning and even troubleshooting. Having all this data on a single dashboard further simplifies those efforts, saving you time and money. Ruckus One consolidates these data gathering and reporting tools into a single place called Data Studio. Data Studio is a next generation reporting tool that's fast and intuitive, providing a rich user interface to create and edit charts and dashboards. The underlying architecture looks like this. Individual charts provide visual representation of specific data sets. Those charts are organized and displayed on dashboards, facilitating analysis. You may be wondering how Data Studio differs from reports. Reports contain a predefined set of data that's not really customizable, except for the time period of the data shown and perhaps a table versus a graph view. But if you're looking for something very specific, Data Studio gives you access to all the raw data, allowing you to select any data and have it shown in the style best suited for your needs. So Reports and Data Studio each have their own niche use. Let's take a minute to get acquainted with the overall Data Studio user interface. Simply navigate the Ruckus One UI through Business Insights, Data Studio. Tabs keep access to the various tools and features organized. And Ruckus One ensures that no matter where you are in Data Studio, you're only one click away from creating a new chart or dashboard and importing local dashboard files. Now let's visit each Data Studio tab and discuss its features. Home is your personal collection of dashboards and charts created only by you. The Home tab displays the four dashboards and four charts that you've most recently modified or created. The view can be changed to display only your favorites, which is handy for quick access to the data that you view most often. Clicking View All takes you to the applicable tab to see all of your dashboards or charts. Here in the Home tab, you can click on a specific dashboard or chart tile to view the latest data, and edit the dataset filters and visualization if desired. Dashboards is the collection of all the dashboards created by you and the ones created and published by other administrators for this Ruckus One tenant account. A dashboard is used to display a collection of charts, each chart providing visual representation of real-time data for a specific dataset. The tab includes the status, modification date, creator, and owner for each dashboard. Note that dashboards reflecting draft status are visible only to that dashboard's creator. Once the dashboard is published, it will be visible to all administrators assigned to this tenant account. Clicking the star icon marks the dashboard as a favorite. Favorites is not only a filter criteria on this page, but also a way of filtering the dashboard shown on the Home tab. Creating a new dashboard consists of naming the dashboard, selecting the charts that you want included, and selecting the components that will drive the formatting and structure of the dashboard view. It doesn't matter in which order you complete these constructs. Charts reflects all the charts currently configured in your system. Simply drag and drop the desired charts into the draft dashboard. Note that if no charts have been created or imported from the gallery, the list will be empty. After moving a chart onto the dashboard, you can resize it by pulling the sides and corners and move or reorder the appearance of multiple charts. Components allow you to customize the look and feel of the dashboard with headers, rows, columns, dividers, and such. 
This is helpful if you plan to have several charts and want to organize them into logical groupings. When you've completed adding the charts and components, click Save. Notice that the dashboard is still in draft status. Once you're satisfied with the dashboard and want to make it visible to the other administrators for this tenant account, then publish it. Keep in mind that a chart can be modified at any time, and those changes are reflected immediately in every dashboard that calls that chart. Charts are where queries are defined and their results displayed. Charts aid in visualizing network data using a variety of images from a single number to a table, a simple pie chart, to complex network graphs. While charts can be viewed individually, they're also building blocks of the dashboards. The Charts tab allows you to view your existing charts, including each chart's type, data set, modification and creation information, as well as creating new charts. You can even click the star icon to mark charts as favorites. Favorites is not only a filter criteria on this page, but also a way of filtering the charts shown on the Home tab. Create a new chart by simply selecting a data set from the pre-populated list and selecting the chart type that suits your visualization needs. Here's a quick tip. There are many categories and flavors of visualization to pick from. So if you're new to analytics, consider selecting from the popular type of charts, which includes tables, pie charts, bar charts, time series graphs, and even a simple big number. Notice the Data Source tab in the upper left corner of the screen. Opening this tab reveals, for the specified data set, the metrics available for query selection and the columns available for group selection. Let's define some query values. Query validation occurs in real time, so as soon as your selections meet the validation criteria, any remaining red text labels turn gray. When defining your query, you can choose as many metrics and as many group by columns as are available. But consider starting simple. You can run the query in real time to ensure you're getting the intended results then modify the query parameters as necessary and rerun the query until you get exactly the information you want. Note that you can filter results on any of the applicable columns, even columns not selected in the Group By field. Another bonus feature is that you can customize the appearance of your charts. Note also that after you've set all of the query criteria, if you decide to change the visualization type, such as changing from a table to a pie chart, then Ruckus One attempts to keep your query settings. But if the new visualization type requires different data criteria, then you may need to modify your query settings. A stopwatch in the upper right corner shows the elapsed runtime for the query. Also in the upper right corner are options to schedule periodic emailing of this report to recipients of your choosing, as well as export the current result as a JSON, a CSV, or an image file. When you're finished configuring the chart, save it and optionally add it to a dashboard. Gallery displays a collection of pre-packaged dashboards available for your use. Ruckus One saves administrators time and effort by providing collections of pre-packaged, vertical-specific dashboards targeting IT operations, hospitality, and education, meaning you don't have to build your own dashboards and charts from scratch. You have the option of importing the individual dashboards that fit your needs, or using the import all function to import all the dashboards in the vertical. You do have to confirm the import operation so that dashboards aren't imported by accident. Once imported, they appear on your dashboards tab.
Schedules is where you can create and manage scheduling of emails containing a chart or dashboard snapshot. Note that while the schedules are visible to all administrators and network administrator users of the same tenant account, only the owner of a dashboard or chart with administrator or network administrator privileges can create, edit, or delete a schedule for sharing it. You can set up a schedule for sending snapshots of dashboards and charts by way of email to internal and external recipients at regular intervals, daily, weekly, or monthly. After you add a new schedule, it immediately becomes active. But you can deactivate or reactivate the schedule, view the execution log, edit or delete the schedule at any time. Recipients receive email containing the contents defined per the schedule. In this demo, we scheduled a dashboard snapshot to be sent in PNG image format at 12.01 p.m. every day. This is the resulting email containing that image. As you can see, Data Studio offers a lot of functionality and customization options that no single video can encompass. But the more you use Data Studio, the better you'll understand its capabilities. That brings us to the end of this video on the Data Studio tools and features in the Ruckus One network management platform.